the OR gate device. Let's current go through it. If input A has current on it, or if input B has current on it, or if both A and B have current on them. Hmm. Let's see this, and let's construct an OR circuit. First thing I do, I click on Draw. I go down to Control Devices, and I choose OR Gate. I click here. I go to Draw. I click on Input Devices. Switch. And now my arrow is a switch-making machine. Every time I click, I make a switch. I click again, I make another switch. Now I want to make an LED. I click on Draw. I go down to Output Devices, LED. I click. I click again. And there we go. That looks pretty messy. I have to turn it, my arrow back into a selector. So I click on Draw and Selector. Now my arrow is a normal arrow. Now I can move everything around. And let's move the two switches over to here, the OR gate there, and the LED there. That looks pretty good. Now I need to connect these devices. To do that, I click on Draw and Wire. I click on the top switch, its knob right here, click, drag, and let go. When I get to the OR gates knob, and bingo, there we go. I go down to the knob on the, the bottom switch, click on it, and drag over to the knob on the OR gate and let go. And now we have a connection. Now I do the same thing with the output area, with the output knob. I click, drag, and let go when I get to the LED. So now they're all connected. Now one thing I don't have is our labels. So I go to Draw, Output Devices, and then Text. And I click here, and here, and here three text boxes. I'm going to make labels out of these. Huh. To do that, I go, I click on Draw and Selector. Now, my, my uh, mouse is back to normal. Now, I go up to this, this text box right here. I'm going to make this input A. I'm going to label it as input A. So I double click and there's my text box and I key in the letter A. That's simple enough. And I position a little bit closer and there he is. That looks good. I go to the text box towards the bottom, double click, make that a B. OK. Move this closer towards the input line and there we go. There's my input B. Now, I go to the text box here, double click, and I'm going to make the text say C. This is my output C. Move that closer, and there we go. We seem to be pretty good right now, doing pretty good right now. Now, we're now ready to simulate the circuit. We have an input A, an input B, and an input C, and an output C, and an OR gate here, and two switches and an LED. Let's simulate the circuit. I click on Simulate and Run. Now I go to the switch A, and I click. It's at zero, state zero now, so there's no current going in. I click on it, and now there is current current going into input A, and my light goes on. There's no current going into B. So if A or B has current on it, 
then the LED lights up. Oh, let's shut this switch off. My light goes off. I turn the B switch on. There is current on input B and then there's current on output C and my LED lights up. I shut this switch off. Now they're both off and my LED shuts off. No current on A, no current on B, no current on output C. Now I'm going to turn them both on. Light goes on, light goes on. Ah, so if the both of them are on, I'm going to get current anyway. I'm going to get current on A and B, and all I need is A or B, but if I have on both of them, then I'm for certain going to get current on output C, and my LED will light up. Shut one off, the light remains on. Shut this off, the light goes off. Huh, and that's how it works. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and so long. From Gary D. 777.